Black Science TV 111, Osei Kafour. I'm back at y'all again. I got my twin brother here. We ain't done a video in a while, so we're coming to elaborate further on who is God, who is Jesus, and the emotional spell and our attachments to religion. Because we don't seek to understand that emotions can throw us under a spell toward things that we have no knowledge of. I feel like religion is the most oppressive tool that has captivated the minds of so-called black people over the course of the time that has been in existence. Before religion or before Christianity, before Islam, you know, these elements did not play a role in our foundation of spirituality. They were just what they say they are, religion. Spirituality and religion is two different things, two different dimensions. Spirituality deals with you, your inside, the God of yourself. Not nothing outside of yourself, but yourself. Religion makes you look outside of yourself to things that um, handicap you from being able to see certain parts of you that can even be attached to it, even though um, it is you. This so-called God is you, and even in your scriptures to say that we are all in the image and likeness of God. Now, before I go further, um, I got my twin brother here with me, and he's going to expand on why he has something against these two false images that we call Jesus and God. Before the English language existed, we didn't know what God was. All right, so we have to understand that these words that we say are all spells that suppress certain parts of our brain that gave it a perception to have a reality toward the things that we see today which we made a part of our categorical spiritual um, library. So without further ado, my twin brother, that's the thing to say, what's up, my twin brother? What's going on? Exactly. It's a false image that was constructed in the Vatican. And the same people that constructed this religion was the same people that had their hand enslaved. This is why I don't understand how people can even bow down to a religion that was introduced to them and their ancestors enslaved. Right. And that, this is why it's so easy for me to say, fuck Jesus. Fuck Jesus for daddy, the white God. Now, don't get it twisted. I believe in a high power. I just don't believe in a fucking old ass senile man up in the sky. Right. You know what I'm saying? Running things. Right. I believe in the powers within me, nature, and the universe within you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I think people need to break up. That's a dangerous mindset to have, man, because people don't realize they're wasting their life. Fearing a, a mythological character. They're wasting their life on this shit, man. And they're wasting their money. And they think because their parents did it, it's right. right. Our parents didn't have the technology we had. So they, you know, so they didn't have ways to get knowledge and wisdom and truth and stuff like we got. You know, technology was a blessing and it's also a curse. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take it and use it for what we can, what we can use it for to spread truth. You right. know, we, we gotta be a virus in these systems like the computers, the TV. We gotta be a virus in our system. And bust it open, you know what right. I'm saying? Okay. And get this information because because people really are waking up every day in fear that if they do this and they do that, you know, they're going to hell. Who you the hell? fuck ever died and came back? And I don't want to I don't want nobody tell me to <clears throat> read this book called the Revelation, because them motherfuckers just did not fucking see hell. Right. When you when you go unconscious, you leave the body, you ain't going to hell. Energy, energy don't fail fire. You can't you can't. You can't feel pain if you're energy. Right. Because it's, it's scientifically proven that we are all energy. Right. Everything around. That's why it says in your Bible, if you understand it, that God could be everywhere at one time. That's right. So what what do that mean? See, the, see that's where they took the Bible from. That's where they took that knowledge and they and they covered it with allegories and metaphors and figures of speech. Right. Because they knew the slaves wouldn't be able to understand that shit. Y'all gotta read what understand it, because if you don't, if you don't have understanding, they don't need, they don't need to read it. Throw that shit in the fucking trash. Right. Yeah, because I mean, they used to always get me puzzled me too. Like, how could we go to hell on field of fire if the physical body is left on the earth? That's what the central nervous system is. That's what gives you your your senses of being able to feel. Right. So if you don't have a central nervous, if the soul don't have a central nervous system and the soul is in hell, it can't feel anything. The only reason you're able to feel something is because you got nerves, you got cells, which is sending signals to the brain to be able to take on the perception of feeling, seeing and tasting and all that stuff. So how can we burn if the soul don't have a central nervous system or any type of sensory perception to be able to perceive the pain of fire? You know what I'm saying? So I get what you're saying on that as well. Now, I got another question as well, my brother. Um, <clears throat> Freemasonry. 
I know that um, you used to be in a lodge at one time, right? But due to your uh, your intellectual process of graduating outside of those dimensions of Freemasonry, you are able to see and to attach yourself to realms higher than the degrees of 33. Can you actually elaborate on um, certain degrees and elements in Freemasonry, if yes, you will? Sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, as a Freemason, I was, I was um, initiated, passed, and raised. That's what, you, that's what happened. You, you are initiated into the lodge, you pass, and you are raised to the third degree of a master mason, which is the high, which is actually the highest degree in Freemason. But <clears throat> the Freemason that I'm in is it's no secret. These brothers are not smart as we think they are. They didn't know a little bit or something, but when it comes to like the seven liberal arts and sciences, because they did throw a little jewels in there, but Everybody knows that the first Grand Lodge of Freemasonry was over in Egypt, in Northeast Corner. You know, right? Correct. So, the, the Freemasons here, not the Europeans, the Black Masons, the Prince Hall Freemasons, the Negro Masons that went and begged for a charter to start their lodges here in America, that begged to be a part of the ship. They don't know nothing. Right. See, they don't hide with the Europeans. They think they do. They walk around, scratching, itching, throwing signs, and they don't have shit. Because if they got power, where's it at? Where's it at? You know, so um I say that to say this that is there thirty is thirty three degrees all there is? Because I know they said thirty three degrees is all there is to, to exist, but I thought there was three hundred and sixty degrees and a, a part time infinite element, but then there's seven hundred and twenty degrees, which is seven two zero, which is nine ether. So they marvel at thirty three degrees, right? But I want you to expand on why 33 degrees is not really uh, a lot of knowledge. Well, water freezes below 32. So that's one degree up above. And when these Europeans invaded Africa, Egypt, and they invaded these grand invaded all grand lodges and all of our schools of knowledge and thought, um, they took with them a lot of stuff, but a lot of other knowledge was hidden. Okay. They didn't get 360 because our people were smart enough to put things in certain places where they couldn't get it. Okay. You know, but the shit they hid was buried in our DNA. Mm. That's what they fear us, and that's why they hate us so much. Right. So they, they so know that much. So most of the knowledge is in our DNA. Right. So it's a lot of stuff that, and this is why they probably setting up these blood banks and all this stuff to tell us to come in because the certain stuff sparking now, being that the satellites is falling and the sun is now breaking outside of the tomb, the, right. the line of Judah, which we, which is the sun. You get what right. I'm saying? So basically, what you're saying, and it makes sense because our DNA, it, our DNA, I've always said our DNA is more than what they taught us. I feel like our DNA is connected to other dimensions that their DNA is not connected to, and the way, the reason why our DNA is connected to other dimensions is because the sun takes and throw our sounds from our DNA into these other dimensions, which creates a barrier for us to be able to, by way of photosynthesis, right. to convert sunlight into intellect, not just energy, but intellect. You know what I'm saying? To help us evolve. And they know that we're evolving now. Satellites is going to fall. And once those satellites fall, our DNA is going to start to go off. It's going to get more aggressive. Right. But I didn't mean to interrupt. But like as you said, I just want to touch on you that. Found. <clears throat> you found because um, they understand this. But the European, the, the black masons, not putting y'all down, brothers, but you don't understand. And I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking beat the, beat around the bush for y'all to make you feel good. The truth is, y'all don't know shit. Y'all don't know a motherfucking thing. Now, these European masons, they know. They know about the sun. That's why the, the world's for miles is sitting in the east. That's why when we go into a lodge, we gotta respect the east. Mm -hmm. right. See? Y'all don't have the secrets y'all think y'all have, Prince Hall Masons. They do. Because if y'all did, you wouldn't be going to church. Mm. Right. And then a lot of them, you know, in order for you to be a master, that means you have to master your health as well. Now, a lot of these lodges I see um, in certain local communities, they come together and they do um, neighborhood gatherings where they're eating hot dogs, still eating pork and stuff. So how are you going to be a master but your body's sick? If you're going to master everything, you have to master the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. So if your physical is sick, that means that the other two planes are sick as well. 
because you are what you eat. And if you are what you eat, you get what I'm saying? Then your, 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 your perception of how you think is, 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 is that relegated to what you eat. So if you're eating stuff that's of low vibration, then how you think is of a low vibration. So therefore, your neighborhood that you are setting up to have these dinners and all this stuff with these low vibrational frequencies of elements that you are putting into your body or into, you know what I mean? It's, it's actually subjugating you or oppressing you to certain things that you can intellectually connect to. Right. So how can you be a master when you can't even master um, going against your, your addictions? Because your addiction is, is, is the, uh, it's the other side of you. Your addictions is you. Your, your lower addictions, you have higher addictions. Your higher addictions is your intellect. Your lower addictions is the stuff that you that you crave that's not good for that body that's connecting you to your other bodies. You get what I'm saying? So if you inside of a lodge eating pork, eating beef, you know, eating all of this energy that's a that's a dead flesh or dead energy, then what you learn, right? You can't really perceive it how you're supposed to because the foods that you're eating is suppressing the real you. You get what I'm saying? So, just like you said before, you was like, how are they going to be up in there talking about some big math and maze? It's math and maze. They're supposed to be the superheroes of the neighborhoods, but a superhero, if they're dying of high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity, then you can't be a hero to me because you're dying yourself. You get what I'm saying? That was something that we was elaborating on the other day when we was riding around. And I want to touch base on I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. a lot of these, especially the last lodge I was in, Prince Hall Lodge, um, that was in the three letters. You know, it's three letters and four letters. I was in both. I was in three letters here in Lynchburg, and I was in the no, I'm mean, yeah. three letters. Sorry, let me let me correct myself. I was in a four letter here in Lynchburg, and then three letter in Rowan. But um, yeah, a lot of these. It's like putting a king's crown on a jack. Mm. You know, say that again, brother. I like it's, that. It's like putting a, a king's crown on a jack. Mm. You know, like when you walk into a lodge, you got the worshipful master sitting in the east. You got to respect the east because we all know what the east sim symbolizes. So um. And then you got all these people sitting around and then you look in the room and you like, you got brother, this brother. I'm not putting no brothers there. I ain't fat shaming. You know, this brother over here, 400 pounds, 300 pounds, 250. And then you're like, hold on. You're supposed to be the master shining in your light. Why, so why is your light not manifesting in your people that are sitting in this lodge right here? That's right. You know, so, and then, and then I started getting like, you know, every time I get a call or a text, it's like, pray for such as, you know, this isn't that. Right. Help people think help is not important when it comes to being a master because master Freemasonry is just not about the physical aspect of building buildings. The real Freemasonry was building character, mm -hmm. meaning building your body but also your spiritual body on the inside. And people don't take it serious, and that's why so many diseases out here. And I, I feel like these churches are taking money from all these people, or to their people to at least give them that much. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of just taking their money. Giving them some fried chicken every now and then, and then you know they have a heart like boom boom boom, and then they just struggling and they going home to the nice big ass mansion and they good to go. Right, I'm gonna point this out. You got people that's in the community who think they got a little bit of power because they sit in city council. Let me tell you something. You think because you sit on these boards that you got power? Once you say something and you get out of line, guess what they're gonna do to you? They're gonna throw you under the bus. So stop running around here acting like because you sit on city council that you got power. Because the council that you sit on was not built by a black face. It was built by a face that will throw you under the bus as soon as you get out of line. That's right. You have to adhere to these people. You don't have no power, so they make you feel like you're good. But you're not, you're not generating and reflecting your power from yourself. You're generating and reflecting your power from somebody else. Until, how are you going to tell my people to get over it? And y'all sit in school and show our children their ancestors hanging from a tree, right? You feeding them all type of stuff that's suppressing their health. It's still slavery. You still telling us to get over something that our ancestors went through that we're still going through today. It's just in a different form. It's in a different form. You just introduce another element to make us think that the slavery is over with. The tree is not there. The noose is not there. But the genocidal food is there, the genetically modified organisms is there, right? The blood banks is there, right? You harvesting our organs, you stealing our DNA, now you put us in positions to where we have to come and, and give our blood to you so we can feed our family. And something else too. The change is not here anymore. The change is not here anymore. The change is here. Facts. It's here now, which is worse.
Because when you put chains on a physical body, right? A physical body is something that's not going to always be there. But when you put chains on a mental body, those chains can be transferred to the next body, spiritually. So whatever child I decide to have later, me being oppressed mentally, shackled mentally, I can shackle my child when he comes out, unless it's a star seed. The ones that y'all say is rebellious because y'all don't really understand who they are and what they are. Because y'all don't really understand that there's a different darkness going on above our head. That darkness is in a spiral like a wheel. We ain't talking about no metal wheels. We have, dark, we have darkness and spirals above our head that is forming. We have a storm forming above our head in the stars. And they're coming. And when they do come, y'all going to see, to all you sellout niggas, it's going to detect you. Because something about your DNA is going to let them know that you're too comfortable. See, our DNA speak. It cries out. It speaks. It will tell. It will snitch on you to the ancestors. So when the ancestors come out that sky and they don't see a black face on you, I ain't talking about a physical black face. I'm talking about a black face spiritually because there are other faces that we have that we can't even see. But it's just that we're too busy looking at this face. But there are things brewing above our head. And when the lights go out in the sky, it's over with. Because in the wintertime, the sun don't even shine. It's a false light that's portraying above our head. It's not shining. And this is why in the wintertime we're cold. Because it's something that's trying to take over us in the form of degrees. A lot of y'all may not understand what I'm saying, but a lot of y'all might do. But there are sounds that is now coming alive in the oceans. And the waters are now going beyond thinking. The water can think, but it's going beyond thinking. The soil is acting funny. And our ancestors is here. Those dimensions that's in the sky, those movable stars in the sky that's moving, they coming, they here. That satellite, they ain't tell y'all about. Last year it just got hit, but they ain't put it in the news. And nothing from down here hit it. It wasn't hit with a missile. They said a sound devoured it. They said it was a certain type of sound that hit the satellite that bent it up. And they had to hurry up and quickly put another one up there. But sooner or later, the sound is going to graduate into another sound, and you won't be able to put none up there. So to all of the people who is being isolated from family and friends, this is the sign. This is the universe telling you, you get over here, you get over here. And if you want to be with them, take your nasty, trifling ass over there, because you're going to go when we get them too. It don't care about you. The universe do not care. It don't have feelings. It don't care about your emotions. Because our emotions is a spell. They made a passive for a reason. Spirituality don't have nothing to do with emotions. It has a lot to do with facts and truth. It don't care nothing about you crying. It don't care nothing about you being left behind. But I'm telling y'all right now, you better get rid of some, y'all better get rid of some of your friends. Because this is the time of separation.